Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. We are officially in the swing of holiday things, which means my channel is going to start having some holiday themed recipes for you guys. And what is more holiday than cookies? How many times did I just say that word in the last two sentences? I don't know, but either way, today I'm going to be showing you how to make these super yummy, easy, and vegan almond flour cookies. They have a nice jelly filled chia seed jam filling and a crispy yummy outer cookie dough portion uh, but this recipe is actually a collaboration with my friend Liv from Liv B. We actually did our first holiday collaboration together I think almost a year ago we did holiday recipes so we decided to team up again. Liv has an awesome channel where she makes easy vegan recipes but I will let her tell you guys a little bit more about herself and what she's making today now. Hi everyone I'm Liv and I have a YouTube channel called Liv B where I make vegan recipes every single week. I I'm so excited to be collabing with Caitlin on this video. So the recipe that I made on my channel is vegan and gluten-free ginger snap cookies. They're amazing for bringing to like a holiday potluck or for just dipping in tea for an afternoon snack. So after you guys watch this video, you are all invited to hop on over to my channel and check out this recipe. So I hope to see you guys after this video. So after you finish watching this video, be sure to head over to Liv's channel and check out her recipe, which will be linked below. But for now, let's get on to making some of these cookies. So we're actually going to only need seven ingredients total for this recipe and to start out we're going to mix our wet ingredients together so our wet ingredients for the cookies are going to be some maple syrup as well as some almond butter though if you don't have almond butter you could use another nut or seed butter of your choice and we're also going to add in some salt and we're adding this in now when we whisk these two other ingredients together just so the salt becomes evenly incorporated into the mixture and you're not going to have any big chunks of salt in it so once that's evenly combined we're going to add in the rest of the dry ingredients which includes some some finely milled almond flour, some tapioca flour, and some baking powder. And that is it. Then you're just going to use a spatula to mix all of this together. And the mixture is going to look pretty wet and soft and almost moist at first. But we're actually going to pop this mixture into the freezer for about 10 minutes or so just to allow the cookie dough to harden up and become easier to scoop. So after it's in the freezer, I'm just using a cookie scooper to take out two tablespoons worth of dough for each cookie, though you could just do it with your hands as well. Though you would want to get your hands a little bit moist just so the dough doesn't stick to it. And then we're going to place them on a baking sheet. These are going to spread out quite a bit in the oven, so you don't want to do them too close together, but you're going to put a dollop of the cookie dough onto the sheet and then press your thumb into it, which is going to make the hole for the chia seed jam. And actually, as you can see on this last cookie here, uh, my fingers started to stick and that's because they weren't moist. So make sure your fingers are moist and it will make the whole process a heck of a lot easier. So after you have your cookies all formed out, you're going to fill them with jam. I'm using a chia seed jam that I made. I have a recipe for this on my blog. It will be linked below as well if you want to check it out, but you could also use another store-bought jam if you'd like. And you're going to use about half of a heaping teaspoon of jam per cookie. I know it doesn't seem like much, but you just gotta trust me on this one. It actually is quite a good amount. So then we're going to pop these in the oven for between 16 and 17 minutes. And this is what the cookies look like once they come out of the oven. They're actually going to be pretty soft when they come out of the oven. So you're going to let them sit on the baking tray for five minutes and then carefully remove them with a spatula to a cooling rack where you want to let them cool completely. But then after they have cooled, they will still be slightly crispy on the outside and soft on the inside and they are ready to serve. You could even serve them a little warm if you want. I think that would be super delicious with a glass of almond milk or some tea. But either way, they're great for holiday parties or just a snack for yourself because you know you got to treat yourself. I think they're a nice sweet treat and I love that they're made with pretty simple ingredients too. So I hope you guys try them out. All right guys, and there you have it. Now let's do a little taste test of these. So actually, depending when you make them, the cookies have a different texture. When you make them the first day, after you let them cool for about five to 10 minutes on the baking tray, they have a nice crispy outside, and like a soft and chewy inside. But with time, like over the next two or three days, they get softer. So if you want more of like a soft baked cookie, you can make these more ahead of time. But if you like a cookies crispy, make them the day of. I just made these like an hour ago. So they're still a little crispy on the outside, but nice and soft on the inside. Mm, so good. And the combination of the maple syrup and the like slightly tart chia jam is delicious. I loved thumbprint cookies as a kid. So very happy I can make a healthier and vegan version of these. I wanna eat this whole thing, but I should finish the outro. 
All right guys, so that is it for now. Thanks for watching this video. Leave a comment below telling me what your favorite holiday cookie is. Maybe I can veganize it in the future. And also don't forget to check out Liz's cookie recipe, which will be linked in the description below. She's such a sweetheart. She makes amazing, easy vegan recipes, and she's also going to be coming out with a cookbook soon. So if you're not subscribed to her, you're doing something wrong with your life. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go finish eating this cookie. I hope you guys have an awesome day, whatever time of day it is for you. And I hope to see you in the next video. If you're new here and you came from Liv's channel, feel free to subscribe by clicking that button right down there. I post two new videos, two, every single week. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.